Hi, I'm Todd Ferrante, and I am going to show everyone how to control a Jaguar motor driver with a Raspberry Pi microcontroller uh, computer. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is a $35 uh, miniature computer that's powered by a uh, 5 volt power from a USB charger. Um, it's hooked up right now. I have this hooked up to uh, a monitor and to my network connection and also um, coming off of these general purpose I.O. pins I have it directly connected up to the uh, Jaguar. Um, right now it's completely powered off so the first thing we do is apply power. When you apply power that boots up the Raspberry Pi and it goes through a real quick boot up sequence And when that's booted up, we'll go ahead and log in. So give it a login name. And password. And now we load the driver using a script that I wrote today. You have to remember to uh, be a super user when you load that. Okay, now it's loaded up. And I want to give the Jaguar a neutral command so that when I plug the Jaguar into power, it doesn't fire up the motor. So I will give it its command. And what I'll do is tell it to uh, go to the center of the range, which will make the motor not spin. Now I can plug the motor in safely. So now the motor's not moving, Jaguar has power, and now I can tweak this text command to start spinning the Jaguar. So that's very low speed, and then we can boost the speed up to... faster quite fast and we'll go up to full speed full speed and we'll come back down gradually Turn to power off. And now we can go in the opposite direction. And we'll go full power the opposite direction. back to stop. Uh, that's as easy as it gets. Um, the next thing I've got to do is I'll start ramping it up and down with using the keyboard keys and then I'll figure out how to use a joystick input. I uh, hope this has been helpful and let's everyone see what you can do.